Hey, Zach Henderson here, and today's video is a deep dive into loaded carries, a family of exercises that can be a total game changer for your training, no matter your goals or fitness level. True to its name, a loaded carry is any action where you support an external weight and move it from point A to point B. I think one of the ultimate tests of true functional fitness is moving yourself into a third floor walk-up apartment. Ask me how I know. You'll need the grip and total body strength to carry furniture, the balance and stability to walk backwards up a flight of stairs, and of course the endurance to do it all day. Training loaded carries is what's gonna give you this kind of work capacity and will improve your performance in practically any exercise or sport. The best part is loaded carries are accessible to nearly every trainee and there's really not much technique to learn. As long as you can control your breathing and your posture, you're probably doing it right. There are tons of loaded carry variations to try and each combination of the type of weight you use and where you carry it is going to present unique benefits and challenges. So let's take a look at some of my favorite carries and then we'll chat about how to program them for best results. First up is the classic farmer carry where you'll hold a weight in each hand. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells, plate loaded farmer bars, or even a trap bar to really push the weight. The farmer carry is tremendous for building grip and forearm strength as well as size for the traps, shoulders, and arms. The single arm version is called the suitcase carry. The asymmetrical load will help target the obliques and overall core stability. Think of this as a walking side plank. To really hit the shoulders, you can take your carries overhead. Two hands on a barbell or plate is fine, but most of us could use more stability, which is why I suggest independent weights. Holding one arm overhead is called the waiter walk, and we can amp things up by adding a suitcase on the other side. Coming back down to shoulder height, we get the rack carry. I suggest sticking with kettlebells here because the offset center of mass really builds core and upper back strength. A more beginner friendly option that only requires one kettlebell is the goblet carry, utilizing the same grip from the goblet squat. Hold it away from the chest for a greater core and back challenge. One of my all time favorites is the bottoms up kettlebell carry. I have an entire video on the benefits of bottoms up training, but suffice to say, this variation hits the grip, shoulder, and core in a way that the back expert himself, Dr. Stu McGill, really likes for low back health. Now let's check out a couple of sandbag specific carries. First is the bear hug carry. Clean the bag so you can hook one hand around the opposite forearm. Think about squeezing the arms together as opposed to flexing at the biceps. You can recline the torso, but try not to overarch through the low back. Next is the Zercher carry, where the bag is held in the forearms and crooks of the elbows. The pec stick can also be used for carries by looping it through a kettlebell handle. Experiment with various heights, distance from the chest, and how close you grip towards the spring. Last but not least is the backpack or ruck walk. Simply load up a pack with a few of your favorite books and hit the road. You can also find specialty packs and weight plates specifically made for rucking. When it comes to programming carries, I typically put them at the end of a workout session because in general, we want to save our grip for the main lifts of the day. I'll often write finishers consisting of 20 to 40 seconds of a loaded carry variation combined with some floor and body weight core work. Of course, a loaded carry could be the main focus of a workout session. Just resist the temptation to go super heavy all the time. Carries should really feel restorative and athletic. You shouldn't be worried about stumbling around too much. 
and it's probably best to vary the type of carry you're doing on a regular basis. Now occasionally I will begin a workout with a heavy carry just to stimulate the central nervous system. And while I'm hesitant to give a blanket standard, half body weight farmer carry in each hand for 20 yards or so is a great goal to achieve and maintain. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more training videos. And if you want to see more on the loaded carry, I was thinking about making another video showing you more training ideas and maybe even throwing down some carry challenges. So if that sounds fun, just let me know in the comments below. Here's wishing you all the best in your training and see you in the next video.